this is the quick and dirty on how to add your Skype Connect account uh, via CCA. Um, just to let you guys know I'm using CCA 3.0, so if you don't have it, download it. Um, there are a lot of improvements and added features to it over uh, any other version that's in and out before. So if you don't have it, get it. Um, if you want to add your Skype SIP account, Skype Connect account, um, you're going to go to Telephony, then you're going to go to SIP Trunk. Once you're there, you're going to scroll down to the Skype template. You're going to enter your proxy server and registrar server information. This will be sip.skype.com. Same thing goes for the domain name. You will need to enter your DNS server address. You can use any one that you like. I like to use 4.2.2.2. You're going to need it to enter your username and password. Please don't steal my information. I only have three bucks in my account. So you wouldn't get very far, very far. All right, once that's done, you're just gonna hit pretty much apply and okay. This box will come up asking for your company main number. Do not enter the phone number. Enter your SIP user ID in here. Um, this is just a preference whether you want to use your SIP trunk or your, you know, your PSTN trunks first. I leave it. Um, I leave this box checked off, so I can use my SIP trunk first. Once that's done, you're gonna hit OK. Once you hit OK, if you hit F2, F3. You'll see that uh, CCA is doing a lot of work for you by entering all these commands, um, you know, via CLI, so that you don't have to. And that's why CCA is here to make things very easy. So this will take about four or five minutes. Um, let's see. Once it's done, you'll just hit OK and then OK. All right, so when you're gonna hit OK and then OK, once that's done, you'll want to check and make sure that it's been registered correctly. So you'll go to Monitor, SIP Trunk Status, and without getting too technical, um, as long as you see your user ID here and well, it should say register up here. Well, normally it would say register right here, and then this is what the yes is for. So as long as you see yes, and then you see your user ID here, it should be okay. From there, you'll want to make inbound and outbound calls just to test it out. You'll go back to configure. You'll go to dial plan. You'll go to incoming. From here, you can enter anything you want for description. You're going to enter the number that you purchased via your Skype Connect account. So I'm just entering a random number here. So that no one prank calls me. I know you guys wouldn't do that, but just in case. All right, once that's done, you're going to uh, hit apply and OK.
Alright, you're gonna hit OK. OK. Now here's the fun part. Making inbound and outbound calls. Let me get my IP communicator up. Hey, look who it is. So we have inbound calling, which is great. It means it's working. Hello, hello. All right, now let's make outbound calls. Let's call UPS. Yes, this call may be monitored for quality assurance purposes. Great. So there you have it. All within about 10 minutes, you can add your Skype Connect account via CCA and make inbound and outbound calls.